hello me i'm Odaye, and welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i'm going to create very quickly this flower design birthday flower design for shareful okay so without further ado let's go jump right in okay so let's go we'll click here okay once you click here go to color right go to gradient right the gradient is green okay it's a green with a little um white um style at the middle so i'm going to get the pictures that i'm going to be using so go to um photo room this one first this one second and this one third okay so the three images we have gotten them so very quickly we we'll try to position them all right so this one i'll readjust it like this make it face this other way so i'll click here are you seeing it all right so why am, why am i clicking this is exactly where i am keep clicking right there all right okay so once you are ready you click on this okay so this i'm going to adjust it to be here because i have an intention to put a particular word there all right this i'm going to adjust it like that like that all right then this is the big guy the big lady cheerful so i'm going to adjust it like this okay so i still want to push this one here so this is just the the way i want the arrangement to look like okay so i i'm going to come over here and i'll get a background i want to use another background to add texture to this background so let me quickly look for it um, okay swell 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 you will find it in the description of this video so let's go we're almost there okay so this is it so once you're done here just click on the shirt button all right yeah then um increase it like this let it fill all this boss yeah all right then go to this guy here go to erase color okay you can see that there erase color click on it then enable it once you enable it it's going to remove one of the color because it's black and white to remove the white or you have to take out the black but most of the time you take out the, the white then you enable it then you come over here and then i'll choose i can choose a white color okay then i'll go to opacity reduce the opacity like this so it has formed a kind of texture to this background all right very good now the next thing we want to do now is to um, let me just quickly work, work on the images go here increase the contrast a little then take the, the brightness down a little that is enough do the same thing here all right you can see that there's there's a change all right all right so once you're done with this the next thing you want to do is to bring in um uh, a shadow we want to use the shadow to cover or to blend the images to the background we want to use the shadow to blend the images to the background so quickly i'm going to bring in this shadow um apart from the shadow that will still import another vector we'll be using but let's go with the shadow first okay now what the shadow will do is that we'll go over here right you can choose this okay so you see so I'm trying to blend it, this, all right? You can see the blend, all right? Do the same thing here, all right? So you see, I can see that those images have blended with the background, all right? Okay, so it's looking very cool now. So I'm going to bring in another guy. Um, this one actually would be very useful at the end of the whole tutorial but anyways let me just bring it in okay this is it all right um just do it like this all right um okay i'm going to change the color 
to this no i think the yellow is okay okay let's pick the yellow from a shirt all right so what was let's leave that just lock it okay lock okay then these other guys you can lock them copy one of it i put it here all right you come here okay this one here try to use it to all right so let's adjust it like this now what we'll do with this is to is to remove the color let's see let's remove the color remove the color and then we'll um, try to do some adjustments here okay mm take the brightness up all right okay saturation all right so if this won't work this is what we're going to do all right mm. okay all right so now let's bring in the text now so um right here i'm going to put june june 12th june 12th okay june 12th i would use a long front like bibas and i would make it bold and then i will bring it right there okay so let's look at let's look, let's look at see if she's actually okay so bring the text let it cross the hand a little like this i can i, I see that now so that it's going to look like she's actually resting her hands up top of the um text so like this so once that is done you want to bring uh, the image to the front like this once are you seeing that now it's not looking as if she's actually pressing her hand on top of this stuff there okay like that <laughs> then now because of this we we'll have to bring in one of these guys so let's see which of them not this not th okay this one we're going to bring this one to the front mm. All right, so let's see. Let's bring it to the front. All right, something's missing. We are not getting something right. This one. Um, I have mistakenly deleted something. So let me try. All right, so this is what I'm going to do now. Bring in this image again. This this guy. Bring bring it to the front adjust it there let's go again there's a mistake somewhere so let's go again look at what we want to do now All right because i want it to be very very okay so i'll bring this guy here then i would uh, do this i'll do this All right and then i'll do this All right and i'll increase this let's go again let's go again like this all right june 12th so now that's done then now i want to bring in one of these guys one of these guys yeah so we'll change the, f the texture yeah the color yeah mm -hmm. copy put it there all right so we can even leave it at this right okay so we'll come over here we'll click on this all right just start right happy birthday all right then bring this down all right i'm going to use costa um we can, we can use biba but we can use costa clay but it's it's still almost the same font type all right okay all right so i'll do it like this see what i'm gonna do now i'm going to do this i'm going to bring this here okay all right so i'm going to adjust this i'll put it right here sorry okay i've, I've sent it back right i'm going to copy this all right i'm going to go to color i'm going to click on the plus and then put this guy here okay are you seeing that now so i move the cursor to this 
area that is transparent then I okay now it's gone so you go over to stroke enable it and then um, make sure the stroke is just very small white and then maybe one or so one is okay then you bring it and adjust it to sit very properly at like this <laughs> like that okay so I'm going to adjust it again by reducing the opacity right okay like that are you seeing that now so what's left now is the name so this is happy birthday the name okay so our name is okeka gospel god's um favor so okeka god's favor all right so that's the name that is the lady's name so we're going to come over here we'll click on um, this and this god's favor right all right so so right here one of her name which i know her to shuffle okay she's always shuffle so go over here and then click on this let's use beauty no 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 it don't work uh, let's see which of the front script font we're going to use let's try this guy shuffle Mm, let's see. Let's pad whether there's anything that's hiding there. All right. So, so this is just basically the design. As you can see, Happy Birthday, Okay Car, Gospel, uh, Gospel Favor, June 12th. All right. So that's just it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials like this just forget to like this video and um, share it share it for other persons to watch and benefit also okay so that is it so just simple and straight to the point if you wanted to add more so i'm going to bring in this guy now this this very guy here bring it to the front are you seeing that now Forward, and it's looking very cool so i'm gonna save right so when you save you do a little adjustment by taking it over to another application to enhance the image qualities so let's go over to snapseed all right right there in snapseed we bring in a design we would go over here first we want to increase the sharpness okay see that now so click on this go to sharpening right increase it you can see then we'll also do this go here go to the um, vignettes do this all right so then we can go ahead and save my name is niyamuda and welcome to my youtube channel like this video subscribe and i'll see you in another tutorial